Hello everyone. Today I want to go over how to reset the toner counter on the Brother HL3270 CDW printer. If you're like me, many times you'll be using your printer and your printer will tell you that either your cartridge is either low or out of toner, when in fact there is still toner left in there that can be used to print with. So what I want to do is to show you how to reset this without having to replace that toner cartridge. I've done many Google searches and many times I found where the steps to reset the counter is not correct. People are saying that you have to hold the buttons for several seconds, you have to mash the buttons in, in certain sequences, and in some part this is the case, but many times I see where in comments it just doesn't work. So what I want to do is I want to go over today and show you actually how to do this. Before we get into the steps of actually resetting the counter, if you would please take time to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. It will just help YouTube push this video out so others can learn how to reset the counters on their printers as well. As you can see on the screen, it says that our magenta color is completely empty, when in fact it's really not. There is toner left in that cartridge, but the counter says that it's empty. So what we need to do is go in now and reset that counter so you can continue to use this toner cartridge until it is completely empty. And of course the best way to tell when it is empty is just to watch your prints. When you see the prints start getting lighter or if you start seeing streaks then you know that it is really truly time to change that cartridge. So let's go in and take a look and see how we do reset this. As you can see on the screen it does say that our magenta is the color that is supposedly out. So the first step is to open the top cover, which we'll do now. To open the top cover, simply lift the front of the cover up until you hear it click and lock in place. Once that's done, lift the touch screen up so it's easily visible to work with. So now let's reset the counter. We're going to be using the back button and the cancel button to do this process. And there is an order in which you do have to press them. First we're going to press the back button, then the cancel button, and then the back button again. First, we're going to hold it for two seconds, as many have suggested, and it doesn't work. Other people have said hold it for five seconds, so let's try that. So we press and hold for five seconds, then press the back button, and again, nothing happens. The key to this is you do not press and hold for any time at all. You press, hold, and release. And once you do that, hit the back button immediately, and the menu comes up. Now that we've got the reset menu up, the menu does show the four different cartridges in the printer. You have your black, your cyan, your magenta, and your yellow. And you have standard and high yield cartridges. So what you want to do is you want to use the up and down arrows to scroll through and find the cartridge that you want to reset. In my case, I have the magenta and I have the high yield. So I simply tap the high yield. It's asking me to reset this. I tap the yes button. And the counter has now been reset because accepted comes up. Now, as you can see on the screen, our magenta cartridge has been reset to full. The printer should resume printing as normal. It is now up to you, though, to watch the quality of your prints to know when it is truly time to replace this cartridge. One thing I would recommend you do once you reset your counter is to remove the cartridge that you just reset and shake the cartridge back and forth a few times. It's just going to help level out the toner that is left in the cartridge to give you even quality prints. And also you want to use your Corona wire and clean it. In a laser printer, the Corona wire is what takes the toner off the drum and onto the paper and it needs to be cleaned each time that you replace your cartridge. And even though we didn't replace it, let's clean it. Just take the tab located on top of the drum and slide it back and forth three or four times. This will clean the wire and then replace your cartridge. Now simply close the lid and you have completed the process of resetting your counter. I hope you found this video useful in resetting the toner counter in your Brother 3270 printer. Again, I would ask if you would please take time to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so that YouTube will push this video out to others who are having the same problem in trying to reset their counter and extending the life of their toner cartridges.